Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect a wireless printer on your Windows 11 operating system. So there are two things to keep in mind for your wireless printer to connect to your Windows 11 operating system. The first is your printer should be connected to a power source. And second is your Windows 11 operating system should be connected to a internet network okay so once you have these two things we are ready to connect our wireless printer to our windows 11 operating system so you need to plug your printer to a power supply and then you can connect your wireless printer with your wi-fi network or you can directly connect your printer with the lan cable whatever is available for your printer so my printer is HP NV and on this printer there is this option which is the wireless option when I just press on this option I can uh, connect to my Wi-Fi so this is the name of my Wi-Fi and uh, I just set it up using my uh, Wi-Fi uh, network so if you want to set it up you just need to uh, press on the settings here and then uh, just enable the wireless network here and then if you are not connected to your Wi-Fi network or your LAN cable you can uh, just run this setup wizard so when I press on the setup wizard and when I press on yes it's going to search for all the Wi-Fi routers and I can see all the Wi-Fi routers and I can uh, just scroll up and down and I can uh, just select the network so I want to select this network I will select this and then you can uh, just click on OK and then give your Wi-Fi password and your uh, printer will be connected to your Wi-Fi and once this printer is connected to the Wi-Fi you can move to your Windows 11 operating system so at this point what you need to do you just need to click on this search icon and search for uh, printer and here you will be able to see this result which says printers and scanners so you just need to click on this option and it's going to open this kind of window now you can come to this uh, window using settings app also so you can just search for settings app from here just search for uh, settings here and you will be able to see this settings and then once you reach to the settings uh, app window you just need to select this option which is bluetooth and devices and then you just need to scroll down and just click on this option which says printers and scanners and you will reach to the same point you can also open the settings app by just right clicking on the windows start icon and then clicking on the settings option so once you are in the printers and scanners window you will be able to see this option which says add device so just click on add devices and it's going to search for your wireless printer if it's connected to a network and now i can see uh, this printer which is my printer which is hp nv 4520 series so uh, Windows 11 has recognized this printer and listed here right if your printer is not listed you can also select this option which says show Wi-Fi direct printer and it's going to show you more uh, printers in your network right so once your printer is listed here and you recognize that that is your printer you just need to add that printer so my printer is this one I'm going to just click on add device and this printer will be connected to my Windows 11 operating system so right now you can see it's connecting so your Windows 11 is going to search for the drivers online automatically if uh, it recognizes your printer and it's going to install all the drivers related to this printer and then it's going to connect that printer with your Windows 11 operating system and when you see this message under your printer which says ready 
that means your printer is connected to your Windows 11 operating system. So once your printer is connected and it's uh, ready, you can see uh, this printer in the printers and scanners list here. And you can uh, just uh, open the properties uh, window of this printer by just clicking on this arrow button. And here you will be able to see some more options, right? So if your printer is also a scanner, then you will be able to see the sex scanner settings here. You can remove your printer from your Windows 11 operating system anytime by just clicking on this remove button. Also, if there is some problems in connecting, then you can run the troubleshooter from here or you can manually configure your printer by just clicking on the printer properties here. And then you can go to the ports and you can see uh, it's going to show you this checkbox which says WSD and then some UUID. And if it's not checked, then you can add the port manually by just clicking on add port and then click on standard TCP IP port. And then you can just click on new port here and then click on next. And here you can either give the printer name or the IP address of the printer and also the port number of your printer and then click on next and uh, your printer will be connected. Okay. So most probably everything will be automatic. You don't need to do these things if your printer is automatically connected, but if it isn't, then you can do these things. Now, one more thing you can do here is you can uh, search for the control panel here. So just search for uh, control uh, panel and just click on the control panel app. And here you will be able to see uh, this section which says hardware and sound. And under this, you will be able to see view devices and printers, right? I'm viewing this control panel by category. So you can select this and you will be able to see this option view devices and printer under hardware and sound. And once you click on this, your printer will be listed here. Also, you can just make this printer default by just right clicking on the printer and then click on this option which says set as default printer. So I'm going to just click on set as default printer option and then click on OK, which is going to make your printer the default printer. And this green check mark is added in front of your printer. That means this printer is now your default printer. So whenever you want to print something, this printer will be selected by default. So now let's say I want to just print uh, this PDF file. Uh, this is open on my Chrome browser, but you can open the PDF file on any other PDF viewer. It can be Acrobat or any other PDF viewer. And every PDF viewer have the print option. In the Chrome, I can see directly this print option here. So I'm going to just click on the print option. And as I said, because we have set this HP printer as the default printer, I can directly see this printer. If you don't see the printer, you will uh, see uh, the list here and you can select your printer if it's listed here. Otherwise, you can click on see more and then select your printer which uh, you want to connect to, right? So by default, your default printer will be selected and my default printer is this one, okay? You can select the pages option. If you want to uh, print all the pages, select all or you can customize this by just uh, selecting the page which you want to print. Let's say I want, just want to print the first page, then I can just say one minus one or one hyphen one number of copies you want and then you can also select if you want a black and white uh, print or the color print right and then you just need to simply click on the print option you have more settings here which allows you to choose the page size page per sheet and quality scale and other features so you can uh, just configure them from here and if you are ready to print your uh, 
document then click on print and it will be printed using your default printer so this is how you can set up the wireless printer on your windows 11 operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video